Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain how to create crown cork for glass bottle so left side you can see the 3d cad model and i am going to show you how to create in sheet metal with forming tool so this is the 3d cad model in sheet metal so you can see here sheet metal module and i am going to show you how to create this forming tool So let's start now. Select the front plane. Take a center line. Draw downwards. And make one more line upward. Make this solid. Now take one line, draw horizontal and one more line inclined. Take one construction line, don't draw at the midpoint, select somewhere above the midpoint. Join these two points. See, we have to define the diameter. So, this is uh, 31, and this value is 30. And distance between these two lines is 1.5. draw one more line and draw an arc make sure that it is tangent and uh, this height is 3.5 Select the center line and this point. So this is 25. So this sketch is constrained now. Go to features, select the revolve feature, select this line. Say OK. Now select this top face, go to sketch and uh, for better visibility keep it in wide frame. Now draw one center line, so we have to draw one arc so we have to make sure that it is connecting the midpoint draw one more arc So you can select a three point arc so 
select this two endpoints select this line and the center of the arc so you know it is not taking coincidence so we have to draw on center line from this point to this midpoint now make it vertical so we have to make sure that it is symmetric so before that make it tangent so we can make it coincide now select this point this point and this line make it symmetric so this uh, distance is uh, 0.75 we have to resize it now this is 0.75 arc is 0.35 radius So this is 20 angle. So this sketch is constrained now. See here. So say okay. Now we have to see. So it is in the top top plane. So we have to draw one more line in the right plane. So draw one line. Connecting the midpoint. And it has to join this. Make sure that it is tangent. it should be tangent and see it is not connected properly so select this arc and this point make it ps so if it is a in three dimensional we have to select ps instead of coincidence it is better option so say ok now we have two sketches so let's go to the sweep swept a boss so select the profile and this path see here and say okay now keep it in solid form now we have to apply radius 
so select the fillet option so we should be very much careful while selecting selecting the fillet option so initially we have to select this edge so this is uh, 0.5 See here. See here. And select this. So this fillet. Uh, moves in a tangential form see it is tangent to this other fillet so now say okay see it is created now now we have to make a pattern so pattern is of uh, 24 instances so we have to select the tem temporary axis so let's select circular pattern and select swept and uh, fillet so we have to select the fillet save okay. so it is 24 so of equal distance save okay. So we can see this forming tool has been created now. So now we have to apply the forming tool. So we have to go to sheet metal, select the forming tool and we have to select this face. See. So the yellow shade is a forming face and this top face is stopping face. So after completing the forming tool, we have to save this file in the forming tool folder. So we have to go to design library forming tools and we can save in default folder or any created folder so i'm going to open this uh, folder so simply we can copy the path and we can use pack and go option and paste this folder location and we can save this file so at this moment I am not saving because I have already saved this file in the forming tool folder. See here, so I have saved this file. So that's how we have to save this file. So after that we have to place this file in the sheet metal component. I am going to show you how to create this 3D CAD model. So I have taken the new SOLIDWORKS part file, select the top plane, go to sketch, draw in circle, so this is 50mm diameter, go to sheet metal, select the base and this is around 0.15 and say ok so go to forming tool folder in the design library and simply drag and drop so here we can place the location of this forming tool so simply select this point move near to this edge you can see the center place this and you can move this line to this point so 
so it is exactly at the center so we have to see the orientation so it is downwards say okay now the metal cap is ready but we have to remove the additional material so we can select the front plane go to sketch say okay so keep it in wireframe so we can constrain this rectangle or we can keep as it is and we have to select the cut feature so cut extrude so we have to remove the link to thickness and here we have to go to sell through all both sides so this material is going to remove both the sides say okay see this metal cap or chrome cork is ready see you can see the deformation as per forming tool so this is how we create this chrome cork or metal cap for glass bottles thanks for watching